the sea level all around the world is increasing at about four and a half millimeters per year. The water in the oceans is expanding because it's warmer, but it's also caused by glaciers and ice sheets that are on land melting, and they're melting and that water's running off into the ocean. There's a large amount of ice in Greenland and Antarctica. In fact, if those two ice sheets melted, it would increase sea level by 65 meters. Just small changes in those ice sheets will impact global mean sea levels. The Paris Climate Agreement aims to limit warming to 1.5 degrees above pre-industrial temperatures. In our study, we looked at what that level of warming, 1.5, would do to the ice sheets in Greenland and Antarctica and how that might affect sea level rise. The clear message from our review of the evidence is that 1.5 is far too high and that to slow or stop sea level rise from the ice sheets in Greenland and Antarctica, we need to cool much closer to one degree, possibly even lower. They are losing 370 billion tonnes of ice per year at the moment. And that's at just 1.2 degrees of warming. And that value has quadrupled since the 1990s. There were papers written in the 1980s that said it would take 17 degrees of warming to destabilise East Antarctica, for example. But our estimates of those temperature thresholds have been lowering over the last few years. And the science suggests that maybe 1.5 or somewhere between 1.5 and 2 is the level at which we might start to see worrying things happening in Greenland and Antarctica. Our research clearly shows that actually 1.5 is too high. That actually even current warming levels of 1.2 are too high and too risky for sea level rise. If a policymaker were to ask me, well, what do we need to do then to try and stop or slow sea level rise from the ice sheets in Greenland and Antarctica, our research in this paper clearly shows that we need to cool the earth. And our hypothesis is that we probably need to go back to about one degree, possibly slightly lower. Now that might seem like a big challenging ask, but actually it's only going back to the early 1990s when temperatures on planet Earth were around that level, greenhouse gas concentrations were a lot lower, and we know that the measurements show Greenland and Antarctica weren't contributing so much to global sea level rise.